Well, I went to Cuba and they have something called Paladares there, which are home restaurants. And I went to one and I thought it was fantastic. And I really wanted to do it in London. But I have to say, it took me a few years to get the courage up. Um, I was thinking, well, who would come? You know, I just opened up my living room or my garden and people would come. Um, then social media made it much easier. People say, how can we afford organic food? And I think, how can you not afford to buy organic food? I mean, really, you're dealing with your health long term. And who knows what they're spraying on other foods? So most of the time, I try to eat organic if I possibly can. Obviously, if you're a bit short, you know, budget, I'm a single mum, it can be difficult. But I'd rather buy a, one decent organic tomato than a load of tasteless ones. I, I wouldn't say people specifically ask for organic. Um, but I think because I've said, you know, in a lot of my blog posts, I serve mostly organic food, then, they, you know, that's a given, really. Um, but mostly when they come, they just want to have a good time, meet other people, have some great food. Um, I don't think I follow trends consciously, um, but, you know, often you find you are following a trend and it's completely unconscious, it's just in the air and you're picking it up, aren't you? Uh, but obviously, if I can pay a price, fair trade or organic, then I will. It's, it's organic, but also small suppliers. That's what interests me. You know, small businesses making something from scratch with integrity.